Well, it's good to be back, guys. Uh, last four or five weeks, I've been sort of fighting that stuff going around and just wasn't 100%, so I apologize for sort of disappearing for a while, but I'm glad to be back. During that period of time, of course, in America, we witnessed another horrible tragedy in Florida. And my heart aches for these children who are growing up in a generation where they're desensitized from tragedies like this. It's become part of their generation, which is unacceptable. And everybody talks about gun control and things of that nature. You can't necessarily legislate this issue, although I think in some regards they may need to look at some changes. But one of the big things that I feel very strongly about is the cultural change in America in the last 35 to 40 years. And that is there has been a shift from what we who grew up with the great generation and raised by that generation that there is just some type of true degeneration of moral compasses, of values, of lack of respect, all due to so many different things. Um, some may disagree with what I'm saying. I actually think today, I think today there's a meeting in Washington DC with some of the video manufacturers of the video games they obviously are going to deny that violent video games has not affected the generation. One man's opinion, I disagree with that. I think any time you bring into the, the ability of a, of a child to play a video game and have the ability to kill something on a video game and then they get up and they do it all over again, there has to be some psychological impact where there's not a value of life there. But I think when we look back, you're going to see if you talk to sociologists and psychologists, the failure of the family in America has been a major issue uh, where many times single parents are raising children. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way, but it's not easy uh, for a single mom or a single father to raise children and be all things to all people. Issues in the workplace, people not being treated the way they deserve to be treated a separation of values of uh, economics and those who are less fortunate. It should not be in this country that because of the fact that one does not have enough that they're treated differently or they don't have access to certain things. That's not acceptable in America. But when you look at the young people today, and I love young people, I have children in their 30s, I have grandchildren, from 11 to three years old, there's a certain sense of loss of respect uh, where the perfect example is to go to the shopping mall. It, it outrages me when I see young men and women not stepping aside when elderly people are coming by or not helping them in any way or help them to the car or help them put the groceries in the car if you see an elderly person struggling. I was raised where it's a Mr. or Mrs. It's not a first name issue. If you see somebody older than you, it's Mr. Jones or Mrs. Jones. I was raised from the perspective of respecting teachers, respecting priests and pastors. Now, on that note, uh, children have been let down by those in authority. We see this issue of the different assault cases the teacher did with the teachers have done with young students. Unspeakable to me. But but the question is where did this all start and how did it happen? I think when you look back, you'll see the, the failing of the family unit, the drug culture, the the uh, the video issue of television, sitcoms that basically exploit uh, people, uh, uh, the idea of what is real love in America between man and woman or people of the same gender? Uh, is it being exploited by different shows on television? I mean, all these things aren't happening by accident, you know, and the, what's happening is we're losing this generation that 
that truly is are victims of this deterioration. And being a baby boomer, we were the ones that were raising these children. So we, the baby boomers, have some responsibility here. And so do the politicians in America that have looked the other way on so many of these issues. We've known there's been major drug problems in this country for the last 50 years or more. Nothing's being done enough because of the amount of money involved. We know that we have problems with authority issues now in this country. We see athletes who make millions of dollars a year who get arrested for domestic violence and these young men and women, who are they to look up to? So there's, these issues are complicated. And the reason I wanted to share this with you, number one, I'd like your opinion. Uh, where am I off? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I believe in the Second Amendment, but I don't believe that somebody should be able to go in and buy an AK, whatever it is, and have that access to go kill people. I, it just, it doesn't register with me, okay? On the same thing, I don't, I don't want guns being taken away from people because it's a constitutional right. But it's more than a gun issue. It is a cultural issue in this country that young people are being asked to try to figure out and nobody's helping these kids. These kids down in Florida are reaching out saying we need, we need some controls. We, we need this not to happen. How do these young people even walk back into the same school where this happened? I mean, is this what it comes down to that every two months or three months, there's just another school shooting and, oh yeah, here we go again. You have the same discussion we've had for the last 20 years or 30 years on this. No, I think parents of America today should be marching the streets on this and say, we need to get cultural changes. It starts in the home. There's no question it starts in the home. You got to have respect for teachers, but teachers need to understand that they don't should not sexually assault young kids. The school system needs to do better background check and vetting on teachers, and that they want to give guns to teachers, where you have teachers sexually assaulting children. I'm going to have a gun in a, t in, a, in, a, in a teacher's hands that maybe he's having a bad day. I'm not for that either. Anyway, I know it's a complicated issue I'm starting out with. First of all, it's good to be back. And, uh, but this troubles me. It should trouble all of us. So I ask you to share it and give me your comments. Uh, remember our, our law office, Massey and Massey, my son Robert and I, 702-870-1100. You can go on our website. We do personal injury, real estate, business, wills, trusts, and legal consultations. Tell me your thoughts on this. It's a very, very complicated world, but these kids deserve a better world. Have a good day.